guess what i found a lot of productivity advice from ancient philosophers which have been chinese whispered down to us and you will definitely see them plastered on some pinterest board or as like a motivational wallpaper or these quotes to live by pages and today i'm going to break it down for you hi everyone welcome back to my channel i'm ahana and here we talk about all things related to stationery planners productivity organization and in general living your best life and if that interests you don't forget to hit the subscribe button you i will tell you what the ancient gurus used to say and what the modern day productivity gurus tell us and how they are connected and how basically all the concepts have stayed the same because productivity have always existed since ancient times even though as a metric to measure human efficiency it did not come up until the industrial revolution but we've always wanted to make better use of the time that we have so um, that is why i'm going to tell you what the ancient philosophers said and what modern day productivity gurus says and how the concepts have basically stayed the same so let's get into it socrates said beware the barrenness of a busy life and tim ferris said focus on being productive and not busy sound similar i thought so too the concept of productivity basically means you need to free up your time to do the things that you love to do having a fully blocked calendar color coded in different life categories does not mean that you are being your most productive self if you are spending all day like 5 hours a day trying to find the groceries that you need for the week and then essentially not getting any work done that is and royal waste of your time just because you've been busy that does not mean that you've been productive and that is essentially what both of these people have said and that is what everybody always wants you to keep in mind and there are a lot of techniques and tools and tricks which obviously because i lurk in those corners on the internet i am very familiar with but if you want to know them let me know in the comments down below and i will definitely make a video sharing all the cool productivity tips and tricks this next one is basically a variation of do what you love love what you do which was blackberry stagland if i'm not very wrong so aristotle says pleasure in the job puts perfection in the work and steve job said the only way to do great work is to love what you do if you haven't found it yet keep looking don't settle so steve job always questioned himself that uh, if this was his last day on earth would he continue to do the thing that he, he was going to do that day and if the answer was no too many day, days in a row then he would change that something had to change about his life and being constantly reminded of your mortality of how uh, little time you actually have maybe grounds you and fo forces you to focus on the things which are truly important and sometimes we are very concerned about the next milestone that we want to reach like the next promotion or the next job or the next salary hike or you know uh, your like this boards is done and then you are going to graduate again and you get into masters etc so you're always looking forward to these milestones and in your head happiness is always in the future and you are never satisfied with where you are currently so th if that is always the case then every time you achieve a goal you're going to find another thing to look forward to another thing to long for and you will never fully appreciate the stage that you are in so if you just find happiness in the daily things in the daily habits that lead you to your goals eventually then you will not first of all the goals would not seem as huge as they usually um, do right now but also they will but also you will learn to enjoy the steps the process more and that will lead you to a favorable result instead of the other way around so maybe that's something that we can try to do marcus aurelius said if you seek tranquility do less or more accurately do what's essential do less better because most of what we do or say is not essential if you can eliminate it you will have more tranquility and stephen gavi basically in a more concise way just said the key is not to prioritize what's on your schedule but to schedule your priorities eliminating distractions and non essential tasks is basically what would lead to a productive day and like i said earlier productivity is not about doing more in your day but having more time to do the things that you actually want to do Do you find yourself doom scrolling for hours on your phone in the middle of a work day? And uh, that 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 is not helping anybody. You can use apps to block these websites. You can use um, some sort of a timer to keep you more focused on work. There are a lot of tools and uh, tricks that you can use and if you want to know more about it, let me know in the comments and I will make a separate video about that because if I try to include that in here this will become way too long. But for starters, you can 
set you can just observe your daily habits that's like the first step you can check what are you doing right what you're doing wrong you just list out all of your habits and this i've taken from atomic habits uh, by james clear and the, he has this concept called a habit scorecard where you basically just note down all of your habits and put a plus minus or a neutral against all of your habits so if there are good habit you put plus if it's bad you put minus and if it's just neutral you just do an equal to so it's not like you don't have to change it or whatever and then you just observe what your habits are and then assess if that is actually getting you to your goals or do you need to change something up this next one is actually one of my personal favorites um so confucius said it does not matter how slowly you go so long as you do not stop and my i think my favorite non fiction author so far um james clear said getting 1% better every day counts in the long run so no, so you know one of those weeks where you're having like a great um streak of regular workouts and you're eating healthy and you're like just staying fit and being active and suddenly the weekend comes and there is somebody's um, you know some family obligation somebody came to your house they got a lot of sweets or something and or it's like a friend's birthday and you have to go out and you can't say no to them and then your whole day is not in your control anymore you have uh, probably started the day off with a brunch and drinks and then had cake and just like that kind of snowballed into you sitting alone in your bed at uh, 3 am having a tub of ice cream i'm not speaking from experience i'm not i'm not so that those days those days can totally be controlled if you are not of that all or nothing mindset like i am like i'm really trying to correct it right now but that mindset really harms you because if you see something as like 0 or 100 then you don't see the little steps in between and every time that you fail to achieve one thing you let it m- become such a huge thing that normally maybe just like if you ate cake one day it would not impact you but the fact that you let the idea that you have to eat cake on that day tra- translate into everything else that you did or ate or maybe like you did not even exercise and you did not even you chose to eat like the tub of ice cream later night that all of that and you have lost all your week's progress like the entire momentum that you had built up over the week by being regular you've lost it and that is the kind of mindset that all of these people advise against they say that you, however slowly you are going you are still going so long as you do not stop so uh, yeah like don't don't try to have this all or nothing mindset because even 1% better every single day is something like 37% better in the entire year and i will show you uh, the graph that so- shows this i will put it somewhere here so you know living a productive life and uh, like living your best life uh, maintaining a healthy lifestyle and a stable job and all that it's not easy nobody said it's going to be easy but it definitely is worth it it gives you everything that you want and if you are moving in the direction of your goals you have to keep moving you cannot stop that that's the only rule you can slow down you can rest you can take a break but you cannot stop so the final quote great deeds are made up of small acts this is by lao zu and again james clear said you do not rise to the level of your goals you fall to the level of your system and this is my absolute favorite quote ever and i think atomic habits is like the one non fiction book that i have actually incorporated a lot into my life and was able to see changes by incorporating it so it's one of my favorite favorite books and um, i'll actually in the coming weeks i'm going to do a review on atomic habits so just let me know if you're interested to see that uh moving on if you are looking at your life from like a third person's point of view you're going to see uh, that you have a lot of routines and sometimes you may feel like you don't do anything by routines it's like you're not consciously thinking about it but just the fact that you come home from work every day take a shower order food sit down in front of your tv and then watch it until you are dozing off in your sofa that is a routine as well right it's not a healthy routine it's not a good routine but it is a routine so you have all of these multiple routines in in place and sometimes when we set goals we kind of think that this is you know it's a desire it's not something that we have already put um systems in place to achieve so that is why he says that we can't rise to the level of our goals we fall to the level of our systems because our systems have been established in such a way that they make us lazy uh if you 
you do not have a cook say who come who will cook food for you at home or you don't know how to cook healthy food you are obviously going to order out but if you make a habit to maybe meal prep on a sunday and keep some basic items of food ready and so that it does not take too much effort for you to cook once you come back home and then maybe you set up like a call with your family so that you are not wasting so much time in front of the tv and just you know connecting with your loved ones that is a system that you can set up and then that will maybe bring you closer to your goals of living a healthier lifestyle being closer to your family things like that so in that sense every big thing is made up of very very small things and once we understand what the small things are the smallest unit of a goal like i i would like to believe is your habit habit is something that you have to do every day that you do on autopilot you never think about so that has to be moving you to, towards your goals otherwise none of the big actions you do are sustainable and they will not be able to help you actually achieve your goals right so um yeah this was it these were the quotes that i found from ancient philosophers and um, also found parallels in the modern productivity guru um, genre let me know if this was interesting to you let me know if you want to see more about how productivity was perceived in the earlier times versus how it is now because i'm kind of reading a lot in that area so if you are interested to know about it let me know in the comments down below as well and uh, yeah stay tuned for the videos next week okay bye